Hi everybody, so today we're gonna to be talking about carpal tunnel syndrome, and let's take a look at what happens in carpal tunnel syndrome. So, if we start off here, this is what's going to happen is, first of all, let's look at where these nerves come from. So, this is our brain, and this is our spinal cord, that's in the center here, and then coming off the spinal cord, we have spinal nerves. So when we get down to, to about C6 of the cervical spine, which is in the lower part of the neck, we will have a nerve that comes off and we call this nerve the median nerve. This is the median nerve. So if we look here, okay, and I purposely drew this kind of weird, but if we look here, let's say that this is C6 right here. And so now I have my C6 spinal nerve or the median nerve coming off from here and it's going to come down through the shoulder and it's going to go into the thumb right actually let's hold on just one second it's going to go uh, past the wrist it's going to branch and go into the thumb into the index finger into the middle finger and then it's going to do the innervation for half of the ring finger okay so in carpal tunnel syndrome i'm going to get symptoms in my thumb my index finger, my middle finger, and half of my ring finger. So let's take a look at what actually causes this. On your wrist, you have bones, which are called carpal bones. So we're gonna be looking at the wrist now. I'm gonna draw it like this, as if we're looking down into this area right here. So basically, we have carpal bones. Um, and the carpal bones are the bones of the wrist. Okay? And then on top of the carpal bones, going across the top, we actually have a ligament that is called the flexor retinaculum. And that's this ligament right here. So what happens is we have the bones down here and we have the ligament up here. And then what's going to happen is I am going to have my median nerve, which came out from the neck. It's going to come down and it's going to go through this right here. This is called the carpal tunnel. So on the bottom of the carpal tunnel, I have carpal bones. On the top, I have the flexor retinaculum and coming right through this, is my median nerve. So this is my median nerve. So here's what's going to happen, is as people type or do exercise where, where they have to repeat what they're doing with their wrist, what's gonna happen is this flexor retinaculum, just like other soft tissues, will start to increase in size. So as it starts to increase in size, you will start to get pressure onto this median nerve. So as you get the pressure on the median nerve, you're gonna to start to have symptoms such as numbness, there'll be tingling, okay? And then another common sign is also there'll be weakness of the muscles. And so it's not uncommon to have people have as one of their first symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome, they actually drop things. So there's a few different things you can do for this. The first thing that you can do is if you put a brace on this, because think of it this way. If you're working out and you're lifting weights, your muscles get bigger. If you are using this a lot, the flexor retinaculum gets bigger and puts the pressure on the nerve. But if you stop working out, your muscles get smaller. If we can limit the amount of motion that this flexor retinaculum is doing, this will decrease in size and then it will take pressure off of this median nerve. So a lot of times the most common thing to do if someone has carpal tunnel syndrome is you take, you give them a brace and hopefully that will cause the flexor retinaculum to go down. Also a lot of times what people will do too is they'll put something on, if they use a typewriter a lot or a computer a lot, a keyboard is the word I'm looking for, is what will happen in that case, um, they'll put things at the bottom that will, basically supports that will basically take the pressure off the wrist and this can decrease in size also. 
Now, here's the thing, is if that doesn't work, um, sometimes people will need surgery. So when they, a person needs surgery, what will happen is the surgeon will come in and they will actually cut the flexor retinaculum and that will free up space in there, which will basically take the pressure off of the median nerve and then the person will start to feel better. Hopefully, they'll start to feel better. So that's it. Oh, wait, really quick. I forgot there's two signs we're looking for with carpal tunnel syndrome is if you think you have carpal tunnel syndrome or you know someone who thinks they have carpal tunnel syndrome, the first one's the prayer sign. You put the palms of the hands together, you put the fingers together, and you let the wrist go down just a little bit. And after about 30 seconds, they should start to feel some numbness or tingling in the hands, or at least in one hand. The other one is called Phelan sign. Phelan sign, you put the back of the hands together and the fingers together. If you notice my elbows are up, you let the elbows come down, hold it for about 30 seconds or so, and see if you can feel any tingling in the hands also. So that's it for carpal tunnel, and I hope you enjoyed this, vi this video. And if you did, please check out my other videos.